COVID-19 takes hold in the camps, it has the potential to be absolutely devastating. So just for a bit of context, um, there are around 32 refugee camps uh, in Cox's Bazaar, but one, which we call the mega camp, it contains around 20 of those camps. Um, and so over just 13 square kilometers, there are 600,000 people living there. It's the most overcrowded and congested refugee camp in the world. When COVID started to really take hold across the globe and borders started to close and flights were canceled, um, it, didn't, it never crossed my mind that I should leave. In saying that, I, I did have a brief moment. I kind of wondered if I'd ever be able to get out of Bangladesh and, you know, maybe I wouldn't see my family and friends again. Uh, so, yeah, it was just a brief moment uh, before I realised that I was being quite irrational. I mean, everyone's lost something due to this pandemic. Um, a lot of people temporarily lost their freedom and their ability to move around as they wanted. Life changed just overnight, basically. Um, but for me, I put it in perspective because I've been working with refugees for the past four years. Um, and this is exactly what life for a refugee is. Life does just change overnight and they have to leave behind family and friends and they don't know when they'll be able to see them again. We were making all these great gains in our programs. Uh, we were managing to scale up our e-voucher food assistance so families had more choice and dignity in their food assistance. Uh, we were running more of the self-reliance programs so people were able to earn a little bit of money and learn new skills as well. Uh, but then COVID-19 struck, um, and to be honest, it's been quite difficult. 25% of our staff members are either sick with COVID, sick with COVID-like symptoms um, and need to get testing, or they're in quarantine because they've been in contact with someone who has symptoms or has tested positive for COVID. I wouldn't say that I'm scared. Um, I think that I take a lot of precautions. Um, I mean, I've never washed my hands this many times in my entire life. In the camps, um, some of the rumors about COVID-19, uh, you know, drinking tea can cure COVID or um, if you make sure that you pray five times a day, then you'll never catch COVID. So there are lots of different rumors, a lot of people think that it's a death sentence and a lot more people don't even know anything about it. They have no idea why they're being asked to physically distance. And so for example, we've hired tuk-tuks with megaphones on them. And so they drive around the camp each and every day uh, playing radio programs and public service announcements. I mean, a major concern for me living overseas uh, is obviously if there's some sort of emergency in my family. My family and I are very close. Um, we have lived apart for a long time, um, kind of scattered across the world. Uh, so we're used to being apart, but we still manage to stay in touch. Okay, bye, I love you. Love you. I'm afraid to say that I think I'm probably still learning how to switch off. I am fortunate in that I have a dog and I take him running um, and I go out, I run, I play with him and then I come home and start work. So I don't know what's next for me after Bangladesh, um, but we'll have to wait and see and uh, I really hope that it is as rewarding as my current job.